let's take a minute and talk about dope. No, no, I don't mean that kind of dope. I mean the kind of dope that we use on airplane to seal the fabric. Um, basically, there are two types of dope that are used. There's uh, nitric dope and then there's butyrate dope. And um, they're made basically along the same premises. A natural fiber like cotton is dissolved in a uh, acid like nitric acid or butyric acid and um, then plasticizers are added and other chemicals are added to retard the rate at which uh, the solvents evaporate out and to control the drying uh, time that each uh, coat of dope will take. So what the dope does is it gives you a nice clear finish. It seals your fabric uh, in the weave and um, it protects the interior of your airplane from moisture and it makes your plane, of course, more streamlined. Now, nitric dope, uh, nitrate dope was used uh, originally, but unfortunately it's more inflammable than butyrate dope. So it's still being used today. Some people use it as a primary coat because it has such a good shrinking rate on the fabric. But in our instance, we used uh, butyrate dope throughout the process. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to want to have a few things available to you to uh, apply the dope. And um, the first thing is you're going to want to have some really nice uh, natural bristle brushes. You don't want synthetic because they'll possibly melt uh, with the thinner that you're going to use. And you want to have a couple different sizes. You're going to want to have like uh, a can that you can transfer the dope to. It comes in five gallon buckets, okay? And you're going to need you know, five or six of these five gallon buckets. And you need a way to easily transfer your dope without spilling. And you can see right here, the dope is built up on the rip of, lip of the can where we wipe our brushes, and that's exactly what you're going to build up. You're going to build up a clear uh, cellulose kind of material on the structure of the plane. For whichever type of dope you decide whether you use uh, nitric dope or butyrate dope, um, you're going to need to order two different types. One is a tautening dope, and what that does is it's the coats that you put on first. It, um, shrinks the fabric some more after you've uh, put the uh, distilled water on it and allowed that to dry. And then you're going to put non-tautening dope on to fill the weave and give yourself a nice smooth finish and in case you want to apply any colors like our rondelles here. The other thing you have to think about is you need to protect your fabric from the damage of ultraviolet light from the sun. So uh, you can get the dope, uh, the tautening dope uh, with a UV inhibitor uh, included into the dope and that would be tinted tautening dope. Now we did not want a tint in our fabric because we wanted to have the natural linen color so we actually had a product called P20 uh, put into our uh, tautening dope. It is a clear UV inhibitor and it will protect the fabric against UV sunlight but we did not want a color on our fabric. So you're going to have to uh, start out with the tautening dope, whichever type you decide, and then you're going to switch over to the butyrate dope. Now what actually happens you know, when you're applying the dope? You're just going to paint it on like any kind of clear varnish uh, using a pretty heavy coat and um, once each coat is dried you're going to want to sand it very gently with 180 sandpaper. The dope raises the nap of the fabric and so if you ran your hand over a freshly uh, dried piece of fabric that had been doped, it would kind of be rough, uh, like almost like sandpaper. So you're going to want to gently sand out that nap that's been raised and then apply your next coat and apply your next coat until you build up enough coats that you can get to the point where you're ready to put on your uh, rib tape and then put on your frayed tapes over that. Okay, so in this portion of the video, uh, it's a little bit sped up to conserve some time. But what I'm doing is I am painting the very first coat of tautening dope on the elevator here of this Curtis Jenny and uh, the fabric has been shrunk with our distilled water and so we put the uh, tautening dope on there in this case um, we use two coats of tautening dope on all the surfaces and uh, as I explained we have to sand gently between each coat after they've thoroughly dried so the next bit of film shows me uh, gently sanding uh, the Jenny's rudder with some 180 sandpaper and you want to be real careful not to break through the fabric but you do have to sand off the nap that is raised by the tautening dope.